Hi everybody, Catfish Jones here, right here, in the captain's chair, the pilot seat. Got my visor down so that sun doesn't smack me right in the face. Cousin Sherry Sherry, you know what I'm talking about. Ready for a bit of a drive home. It's gonna make for some high contrast, I guess, but at least I won't be blinded. At least. Another banner day in the world of semi-truck parts and all of that fun stuff. Making it out unscathed and on time and couldn't be happier. Getting to do a little bit of car talk. Glad you stopped by to see what was going on with old catfish. I've actually been a little intrigued by all of the drama going on around the bottom of YouTube. There's tons of drama. Now, I'm a drama dodger. I don't really try to engage any of the drama. I don't want any of my own. I don't, you know, go out there and try to stand up for people who are asking for it. Of course, I don't wish negative on anybody, but there's an easy way to avoid the drama, and that's just to not get involved. Uh... So I figure anybody that's out there involved in drama probably is interested in being involved in drama, so let them have it. Uh, very interested in the Demonic Abyss saga. Of course, he uh, took a little bit of a road trip. Had some drama go on in his road trip. Then... Uh, bunch of people thinking maybe he got catfished, which, is there a better word for fraudulent internet dating than catfishing? I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of that MTV guy dragging the catfish name around through the dirt. <laughs> and I really, I mean, I couldn't even begin to tell you what's really going on there. Whether that's manufactured drama, whether it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not one to judge or criticize. You know, maybe, maybe all the fakeness generates some good clicks. Maybe it's real. It's, it's real and just part of life. You know, that's a, a human being on the other end of that screen over there. And maybe it's just part of life. Who am I to say, right? And who am I to judge anybody wanting to comment? Because... If that human being on the other side of that screen over there wants to put it up for everybody to see, well, people are going to comment. And the opinions vary all the way around, so you're going to have people commenting positively and negatively. And it could be notable YouTubers or uh, recognizable names doing some of the commenting, both positively and negatively. So, I don't know. I just figure if involved and you're talking about it, you probably to some degree endorse the drama and who am I to judge yet? You know, who am I to say that you're wrong for doing so or or right or whatever? So more power to you guys. Courage. And I would say the same thing to Mark Fun Jones and Billy Down Under and the Swedes. And I think Aaron's in there a little bit, but I, I don't really see much of his drama content. I see some good, uh, you know, abandoned locations and just some regular vlogger content from old bottom of YouTube himself, big time, Mr. Aaron. But it looks like it's really steamy between BDO, Billy Down Under, and MFJ, Mark Fun Jones, Mark Funnel Cake Jones, Mark Effin Jones, whichever channel he's on at the time. And that's quite all right, you know? I feel like uh, if, if MFJ wasn't interested in engaging these guys or getting the drama, he, he wouldn't be involved. Because he is involved, he's probably interested in, in having that conversation. And the same thing with Billy, you know? If he didn't want any of it, he wouldn't step up to it, so 
I'm sure they're both getting as much as they can get. And the Swedes just looks to be having a blast with it all. I mean, awesome content. Just awesome, from my point of view. And my point of view is obviously a little skewed because I'm looking from the outside in with a full bucket of popcorn popped. <laughs> and just having a good time with it because, you know, I don't want none of it myself. And since last car talk, when I intentionally drew some attention to myself by putting Camo Dave in the title, it was interesting. It was a fun little experiment. It, it did uh, increase the clicks on my video quite a bit. Um, that was one video that did a lot better on YouTube than it did on BitChute. But, you know, were drama to come my way, I would just be dodging it. Uh, one of the rules of the internet is don't feed the trolls. And if you feed the trolls, like is not, you're probably one of them. So, don't feed the trolls. Unless you're interested in troll content. Unless you're interested in, you know, getting down there in the mud pit and wrestling. Which is good content. I mean, how many clicks did those bum fights get way back when? That's what I'm saying. This is this is uh, the slow-moving train wreck. We're all watching with popcorn popped and a fresh soda in the cup holder, and we're ready to roll. We just don't want, you know, don't want it all turned upon us. And if it is, it can happen. I'm putting my stuff out there on YouTube. People hopefully watch it. Some people have stuff to say about it. And if I'm not interested in what has to say, now see, I'm not somebody that will block content or comments I'm not a fan of. If you say something on my stuff and I'm not interested in what you have to say, I just ignore it. I mean, to me, blocking a comment is the same as engaging. It's the same as saying something back, except it's saying it with actions instead of words. And I'm a huge free speech advocate to the point that I would rather leave some of that stuff up as long as I can. Now, if it's, you know, stuff that YouTube's gonna get on my case for, I probably have to do some work, but that's also why I enjoy BitChute. BitChute, I don't know if you guys are aware, but it's kind of an automated system where you just plug in your YouTube whatever account, uh, I don't know, some string of code, plug it into BitChute, and BitChute just grabs the videos as you post them. And it's a, it's a YouTube alternative that's basically for all the deplorables that got kicked off of YouTube. So there's a ton of political content on there, but there's not a lot of just pure entertainment content. So for me, I, I am, can keep my stuff completely apolitical, completely above board, have no interest in engaging with my personal political opinions, of which I have plenty, but I have plenty other outlets than YouTube or BitChute. So I just go on there with my entertainment. I just play my songs and I do my paintings and every once in a while I ramble a little bit while I drive myself home. And surprisingly, without much of any work, the videos tend to do better on BitChute than they do on YouTube. And I'm not doing a ton of work on YouTube either. I jump in a live stream here or there. I respond to comments and subscribe to channels that I really enjoy. Some channels I might enjoy. I certainly don't have time to go around unsubscribing because, you know, time is limited. But that's a little bit of uh, old catfish talking about dodging the drama. All of the bottom of YouTube drama. Man, this camera's pretty shaky. Come on now, why don't you hate? Just get on. Let's settle down. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Some of that's just driving at highway speeds. But I'm on the ramp to get off the interstate now. Making sure I'm driving well before anything else. The last thing I need is to 
cause an accident while videoing on the, the camera device. But yeah, everybody around the thing, I have no intention of taking sides. You guys know I'm, I'm pretty close with Mark Fun Jones, my internet cousin, but he's a big old boy. If, if he's getting in some drama, you know, he can handle it his way. Billy Down Under, nothing wrong with that guy. I check out his content, content somewhat regularly and really enjoy it. I enjoy just interacting and, and watching people from the other side of the planet. You know, when I'm having a cold day, and boy is it cold, I just try to, you know, watch some videos of some places where it's warm. And it sounds like they're having quite the summer down there. Demonic, I'm really enjoying the demonic content. And I really can't tell if, if it's manufactured drama or if it is absolutely real. And that is, is part of the, the joy of it. Man, I love how this lens flare just, just kicks it right perfect when I park my car in my parking spot. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's been Catfish Jones rambling a little bit. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to go in there and try to get this uploaded. Hopefully, it'll be up soon. In the meantime, I will see you guys around everywhere. And until I do, cheers.